This is a court of law. The standards of evidence are completely different. The court accepts the existence of God every time a witness swears to tell the truth. I think it's about time they accept the existence of the devil. You can't set him up here. <laughs> My God! I'm here to tell our story. There's not one day in my life that goes by that I never think about it. It's always there, it scars you. I met Arnie when I was working down in Bridgeport. When Arnie and I rented a home, my brother David, he started getting physically attacked. Where Arnie comes into play, Arnie witnessed what they assume was a demonic possession with David. David was suffering so bad, and we're all right there with him. Arnie couldn't take it anymore because he was trying to help my brother. Leave him alone! At his wit's end, he called out to the demon yeah. and invited him into his own. And when he had challenged the beast, it gradually started to manifest and come to him. February 16th. 1981, my boss started to really become inebriated. Your girl's gonna think I'm a drunk. Arnie said, let's get out of here. He started walking down the stairs, and I heard a guttural yell out of Arnie. And then I turned around and looked at my boss. He's on the ground. And I seen blood all on his shirt. I think I hurt someone. The newspaper came, and I told them what happened. I said, he was possessed. I want the truth to be told, that these things are real. Something terrible happened here. You cannot take this lightly. Good versus evil, it's real.